How's it going guys? Like Boken here from Geek Talk again. And today we are going to be or this is gonna be my review on the Green Lantern movie since I just came recently from seeing it. We're gonna go ahead and do a review on it and give you my thought and my feedback on it. Well we first got there, I really didn't see I sorta of kinda of missed the beginning of the movie. But uh, sort of kind of got there in a little bit, um, a little bit after the beginning. So I don't really know what happened. I have to go back and watch it again. But uh, I got to the part where it came a little bit again where uh, Evan Sir was talking to Sinestro about they had to defend the planet against um, against Parallax because Parallax was coming. So he went ahead and he tried to do that thing, and that's where I caught the movie from. And then I started from there, and then it went on from there. So what we had to say about the story. The story was well put together. Story about how Hal Jordan became Green Lantern, about how Evan Sir went to the planet Earth, found him, got him, told him about the ring, and everything like that. A little bit, they had a couple of discrepancies in the film, but it wasn't really nothing major that you would, you know, that you would, you know, go up in arms about and probably try to rob a bank. It wasn't really all of that thing. Like one of the things that they had was when the ring chose him, he wasn't, you know, as we know, he wasn't at the, uh, he wasn't at the air station, and he wasn't inside of the, he wasn't inside of the test plane, or he wasn't inside of the, the plane for the simulation, he wasn't in that, he was actually on the street, and he was walking towards his car, and it grabbed him that way, so that was one of the things that they had, but it's small potatoes, depending on, you know, everything else they had in the movie. The CG in the movie. The CG was awesome. I saw it in 2D. I didn't see it in 3D. The CG was awesome. Tomar looked awesome. Sinestro, the guy that played Sinestro, they put some makeup on him, but he looked awesome. Killer Wall was awesome. They had all of those things in there. They had all of those aspects in there. Everything looked good. Everything looked precise to the point. They really took great detail into making these characters look the way they're supposed to look. Oa looked awesome. Oa looked awesome. They showed what appeared to be I'm not really sure if that I don't I don't think that was the central battery they showed the central battery in the background they never really showed like an up close first day but I think they showed like the central battery in the background and they had a and they had like a little statue or a little outline of a, of a lantern that Sinestro was standing in front of for a couple of parts of the movie I'm not really sure what that was that wasn't the central battery I'm, I'm not sure if that was or not I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that wasn't a central battery but he was standing in front of it, and when you see the film, you'll see what I'm talking about. But other than that, the uh, the relationship between Hal and Carol that was very well done. The the relationship between them two, especially the part when they were in the plane and they had the dog fight and he sacrificed her and everything like that, and they had this little get together, they had this little altercation, and everything that was perfect. His friend finding out that he was Green Lantern. That was funny. They had a little funny part about that. Friend found out about it. Uh, that was a nice little thing. Oh, they also introduced. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but one of the villains, you know, one of the main villains that you should already know if you follow Green Lantern. His villain was uh, Hector Hammond, and they introduced Hector Hammond in the film, and they introduced how he got his powers. If you don't know what his powers are, I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and you read a Green Lantern book. I'm going to go ahead and you suggest that you go ahead and find one of the trade paperbacks and find out who Hector Hammond is and go ahead and do some research because I'm not going to spoil it for you. This is not a spoiler video. This is one to give my two cents about what the movie was. So the graphics were good. The story was good. The relationship between everybody was good. Uh, the one thing I can say is that the training part, the training part with Kilowog was kind of short. I thought they were going to show a little bit more. But when they introduced Sinestro in there and Sinestro did like a little training with Hector, that was, I mean, not with Hector, with Hal, that was very good. What he, the, the training, the little the little test that he put him through and what he was telling them and how he made, uh, oops, I don't, want, I don't want to go too far into that, but the training that he did and what he did inside of the training, that was very good. And what he told them and he made Hal think about some things and go back and sort of kind of I guess you would want to say I would guess you would kind of want to say reassess his life I guess you would kind of I guess you would want to say uh, you know reassess his life and how things have been going and things like that but other than that on a scale of one 
on a scale of one to ten jalapenos, ten being the best, I would give this movie a ten point five. This movie was awesome. Now I know everybody's gonna have their own opinions, be like, oh, it wasn't all that great, and yeah, yeah, it sucked, and da da da. Boy, well, you know, like I said, that's everybody's opinion. This is my opinion of the movie, being someone that follows comics, being someone that follows Green Lantern. This had all of the aspects that a Green Lantern fan would like and something that she would enjoy and you know something that or another. I really wanted to go see it. I really wanted to try to see it in 3D but then as looking at it in 2D it probably wouldn't have had that many 3D parts you know so it probably would have been in my opinion probably would have been a waste of money to probably go see it in 3D but you know to each his own but that was just my thing about that so that's my little two cents about the movie. I thought the movie was all in a nutshell. I thought the movie was awesome. They did a really good job on the characters. They didn't try to go too deep into try to introduce in everybody inside of the Green Lantern universe. They just picked a small core of people, the people that you should know, and they ran with those. Even though they didn't have a big screen appearance, and they really didn't have much to do with the, you know, they didn't really have much help in the overall story but it was nice that they introduced them they showed them in the film they didn't try to go into any background on these characters which was good they kept it short and they kept it simple because if you're watching the movie you should already know the background on these characters anyway so they really shouldn't have to go into any type of background features but if somebody was brand new to the thing and watching the movie and they wanted to find out more characters like i said she read a trade paperback there was uh four books that came out before the movie there was like prequels to the thing there was Sinestro, there was Tomori, there was Kilowog, and there was Hal Jordan. If you really know one of the backstories before you go read the movie, or before you go see the movie, I suggest you go pick one of those, one or all four of those books up so you can catch up before you go see the movie. If you see, or if you saw the movie and you were confused all the way around, go pick one of those books up and try to read it. And try to see if you can expand your mind than, you know, the things that you, you know, than the things that you're normally used to. Expanding your mind is good. Expand your knowledge. It's not that hard. It's not gonna kill you to uh it's not gonna kill you to go ahead and figure out something more than what you already know or things that you don't know. But other than that, that point aside, ranting and raving on that. I'm gonna give the uh like I said, gonna wrap this up. Give this movie a ten point five. This movie was awesome. I suggest you go ahead and see it. That was my movie review of Green Lantern. It's Black Bogan from Geek Talk. I'll see you guys in the next video.